Bordeaux welcomed a familiar face to the Stade Mammouth Atlantique as bottom of the table Gangon arrived for their rescheduled Week 23 clash. Management duo Ricardo and Eric Bedoué were relieved to see the Girondin return home last Sunday after three weeks and four straight defeats in a row. Jimmy Briand lifted some of the gloom with a late winner to beat Toulouse three days ago. The former Gangon star absent after upsetting the Bretons by breaking a promise not to sign for another French club. Gangon coach Josin Govenek hoped to have the last laugh against the Girondins, the club that sacked him over a year ago after one and a half seasons. Bordeaux, though, could have made it four home wins on the bounce in all competitions. Yang Caramo wasteful on his return to the starting 11 after being left out of the last two fixtures due to disciplinary issues. Well, Gangon unable to build on the 2014 Coupe de France winning Gangon side after switching to Bordeaux but plotted their downfall. He was almost rewarded for giving Nicolas Beneze his first start since the 5th of December. Janovic, an under-20 World Cup winner with Serbia, making the most of Pablo's continued absence to block. Well, it was not a fixture that caught the Girondin fans' imagination as the grey seats around the Mammut were too far evident. And Jaroslav Plasic couldn't lighten the mood of those out on Wednesday night for the rearranged fixture. The Bretons reached the final of the Coupe de la Ligue, but then suffered a humiliating 9-0 loss to Champions PSG at Le Parc. They've now lost four in the spin after defeat at Lyon last Friday. Ludovic Blas's last goal came at PSG in a 2 all draw. But that was back in late April last year, unable to beat Benoit Costil, who got caught in the net. In an effort to secure a fifth straight home success against Gangon, Benoit and Ricardo sent on giant Dane Andreas Cornelius after three straight 1-0 away defeats on the trot for Bordeaux. But despite the weekend success over Toulouse, they were struggling for fluency against the league's bottom side. And it was Gangon who could have led early in the second half, only for them to be denied by a smart save and an incredible miss. Munich Janovic initially almost putting through his own net, only for Benoit Costil to smartly deny him. But Rue yet to score in 2019 with just two this season skying it. Well, it was substitute Cornelius who did get Bordeaux on the score sheet. Unfortunately, it was with a slam dunk. Well, brilliant on the basketball court. But Willy Delajod, understandably, bringing the yellow card for the Dane on a football pitch. Ruse missing, Cornelius slam dunk the highlights of a forgettable game as Bordeaux and Gangon settle for a point apiece. Cherandin remain in mid-table, but Gangon are five points from the playoff spot and a further one from safety.